by McDonald's. Eddie Jones, Udonis Haslam, Shaq with Damon Jones and Dwayne Wade, Kyle Korver, Chris Weber, Samuel Dallenbear, Andre Igudawa, along with Allen Iverson. One of the matchups you're going to be watching tonight, Doug, Shaq against the newest member of the Philadelphia 76ers, Chris Weber. One of the better defenders in the league. We'll have to watch that matchup. And this is Weber on Udonis Haslam, and he finds two with a good move inside. Jones, normally a three-point shooter. Allen Iverson nails that from outside. He made with a nice fake on Iverson and Weber and rejected by Talon Bear and picked up by Igudala. Allen Iverson. Again, block shots, forced turnovers. Mark so far in the first portion of this game. Iverson finds his way in for two. How? How did he do that? Philadelphia, you do it by getting in the open court. Iverson. Just sizing up. Damon Jones goes around him, lays himself out at the basket. The and Dolan continues, continues to take the place of Shaq as Iverson had it. He's got six and now has eight. And that is a game high eight for Allen Iverson. I put along with Rick Brunson playing for John Chaney. A three by Iverson. And Allen Iverson takes the most shots from a field of any player in the NBA. Who has scored the last nine points for the Philadelphia 76ers. There are no fouls to give either way. Corver, please. Corver does a great job. A guy that goes to the free throw line as much as any player in the NBA. Well, congratulations to Eddie Jordan and the Washington Wizards. Last night, the win. They got into the playoffs. The end of one. Climbing back from 12 down. The Sixers lead by one. Dallin Bear picked up his second personal foul for the 76ers. Ibudala for three. I know there's a lot of talk about it. Missed five games with that injury and came back on Tuesday against the Boston Celtics and struggled three of ten from the floor. Iguodala with a three. Well, if he's going to make that shot, he'll be an all-star. Don Iverson. Chris Webber. That's his game. Catch and shoot. In rhythm. He's a terrific mid-range jump shooter now. There's a great group of rookies in the NBA this season, including Philadelphia's Andre Iguodala. Well, this is the Scotty Pippen comparison I talked about, and obviously he's got a long way to go to be Scotty Pippen, but uh, I just feel like you see this video and you watch and some of the things he does on the floor with his shot blocking, his soaring to the basket, his finish, he has the ability to handle the ball and make plays. Spectacular around the basket with his finishes, and he has a very, very good understanding and knowledge of the game, and the rookie seasons and the numbers. We've had a lead change in three ties. Sixers have led by seven. Miami has led by as many as 12. Iverson to Jackson. Next pass by AI. Well, you can see what Iverson, he just took two guys with him and no weak side rotation by Miami. I know it sounds like a broken record, but it's when good teams win games. Iverson gets the screen and banks home a long shot with four seconds to play. In the first half, triggers to Iverson. Dry on Corver in these situations. Iverson loves to find him. This time he gets in the paint himself and scores. Two on one with Iverson. Corver inside. Another great pass by Iverson. You know, there's this misconception that games, and that's really what you start judging the MVP voting on, unfortunately, for Iverson. Well, Iverson knocking in a three. He's got 21. Matumbo's been playing for Houston. There's another guy. Plus, he's been great in the lot here. Jackson. That is Mark Jackson. The defense, well, I can tell you, they're a much better defensive team this year. They've got more to line up against. They are playing great basketball. And Denver, don't count them out as being the third seed by oh. Seattle limping in. Denver still has... Sizable Miami rebounding advantage of 10. Gallon Bear. Well, that's what you got to do. Catch the ball. The road, both of those games in overtime. Shaq rested five minutes and 19 seconds. Here's a quick release again by Corver to make it a one-point game. But Miami shooting almost 53%. Iverson for three. That's another three ball for Philadelphia. They've gone nine of 18 shooting. I'd have one of my assistants write that on the board for the 76ers and go, guys, it's right here for us. Are we going to take it? Go to number seven. There's a nice shot by Mark Jackson. And Corver, Iverson, Weber, and Iguodala in there. There is a cross the lane move by Allen Iverson, who continues to just go all over the floor with the double double tonight 28 points and 11 assists. Ball. And Iverson plows. Weber, big shot. 
These fans want to cheer for him. Get up the game for Philadelphia. And here's Weber once again. The penetration. Kenny Smith talked about it at halftime. Allen Iverson gets in the lane at will. Good spacing on the floor. Back-to-back -back jumpers. Philadelphia 76ers. Well, this was early in the year against New Jersey. You know, it's interesting. Through all his greatness, Allen Iverson had not hit that many game winners. This year, that was not the case. This was Indiana to step through and the score to win the game. Against Washington, he steals the inbound pass, goes linked to the floor, lays it up, and wins in overtime. And then against Toronto, the game-winning shot with 2.4 seconds remaining, four game-winning shots. Will we see number five here tonight? The scenario is there for him to do it. Scoops the shot to go. Makes the first free throw, one-point game. Miami should have the basketball either with the game tied or with a one-point lead with about 11 and a half seconds to go. Iverson shooting a career high, 83% from the line this season. Miami Heat on the road and taken to overtime by the eighth seed, Philadelphia 76ers. And here's AI working on Damon Jones with Eddie Jones, has one shack and where the open on a spectacular pass. Allen Iverson nails Iguodala airport off the baseline. Picked up by Weber. And a lead to Iverson. Wade is coming, and the handoff goes to Iguodala. And the Philadelphia 76ers have a four-point lead to the rim. This is Iguodala's dunk on the baseline. Dwayne Wade turns it back. Watch him. He takes it. He gets two defenders up, and then he finds Iguodala running the floor. He finishes it. A four-point lead for the 76ers. But in the game, Allen Iverson had to have his fingerprints all over Philadelphia tonight. Well, CSI would be investigating this building <laughs> because he definitely does. I will tell you that they're everywhere. He's getting in the lane, passes over the shoulder, passes behind his back, getting in the air, finding the open man. 14 assists, only two turnovers. Spectacular plays, plays. the energy. We saw him in the timeout, and this was a play that gave them a two-point lead, but more importantly, it was a signature play that uh, gave the team a lot of energy. Oh, and the inbound stolen by Allen Iverson. Corver for three. Oh, what a shot! Jones sort of lays the ball out there, and Damon Jones thought he got held on the play. A three-pointer by Corver. Career high, 40 points tonight. Iverson, wide open lane. You can see Shaq just too tired there to even get out and try to move his feet to get over. Jackson a screen. Iverson pick and roll with Mark Jackson. So that's their money play. At five with 40 and a half seconds to play in overtime. Now get Shaq involved in the pick and roll. The rotation is too slow getting over. Mark Jackson will be ready to start the Including playoffs. tonight. Including tonight. It's five of seven. So when I talked to Stan Van Gundy, he says, Doug, we're going to have to use these games to get ourselves into a rhythm. If they start on Saturday, they'll have one. We talked about this, trying to get this positive rhythm. With Shaq back after missing the last three. Team that won 21 straight games. We're a good team. With Cleveland, the tiebreaker gives it to Philadelphia. I'll tell you, put Jimmy O'Brien on some sodium pentothal right now <laughs> and say, Coach, just get me in. Just survive. <laughs> Well, Alan, before the game, you said, obviously, this was a huge game for you guys. You guys got the win. You just finished huddling. What was said in it? Oh, no, that was, we were just praying. Um, that's what we do after every game. So you know? got to answer a prayer right there in tonight's game. Definitely. Uh, but we just got to thank him for, um, for just enabling us to come out here and uh, being able to play and everybody be healthy and get out of the game all right. You know, describe the last play, because I think the key to it was the steal on the out-of-bounds that you got and then the setup for uh, Kyle Carver with the three-point shot. Just threw it in. And, um, you know, I just did one of my sneaky veteran moves. You know, I can't give up the secret, but I was able to steal it. And um, Cal was coming down. He was in rhythm. I gave it to him. He hit the three. All right, thanks for your time. Big win. All right, thanks a lot. All right, Kevin, let's send it back to you. Iverson ties a career high with 16 assists. Philly wins in overtime. Special thanks tonight to Jeremy Levin, who's done a great job for us all season long. For Doug Collins, Cheryl Miller, Kevin Harlan saying goodnight from Philadelphia.